in a site with a survivor named Mindu. She was a young girl when she was taken to the camp and lost many members of her family to the Holocaust. Welcome to Good afternoon, everybody. Colonel George Marsh, the Lord Lieutenant's representative, Lord Mayor, Councillor Linda Bingham, Councillor George Duggan, Duggins, leader of Coventry City Council, and of course, Councillor Abdul Khan, Deputy Leader, Martin Reed, CEO of Coventry City Council, and Martin Sutherland, CEO of Coventry City Councillors, distinguished guests. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't see the <laughs> Right. To all of you, I hope you'll forgive me today, but today you're not the most important people. And of course, I refer to these wonderful, these wonderful young people to my right and across here and all around this room. These wonderful people who I pray will take this message to future generations. You are the most important people. The history of the Holocaust is complex and vast. If I had 20 hours, not 20 minutes, I couldn't cover it properly. But on the 9th of November, 1923, Hitler and the Nazi party unsuccessfully tried to overthrow the German Weimar Republic Although anti-Semitism had been prevalent for many years, for the next 10 years, the Nazis plotted and attacked minorities and anyone who stood in their way. Finally, on the 20, on the, in January 1933, Hitler was appointed chancellor. Shortly afterwards, in March 1933, the first Nazi concentration camp was established, Dachau. Until its liberation in 1945, more than 188,000 prisoners were incarcerated there, and at least 28,000 of them who died. Our next speaker, speaker Peter Skerritt, will talk much more about this terrible camp. On the 23rd of March 1933, an enabling act was passed granting the government dictatorial powers. Between then and the start of the Second World War, in September 1939, the foundations of the Holocaust were laid. It didn't just start in 1941. The foundations were laid well before then. What were those foundations? the boycott of Jewish businesses, a law banning Jews from working as teachers, judges, professionals and civil servants, burning of books considered un-German or simply by Jewish authors, compulsory sterilization of disabled or mentally ill people, banning of all organizations related to Jehovah's Witnesses, prohibitation of marriages or relationships between Germans and Jews, stripping of all Jews of their German citizenships, pogroms, attacks of many synagogues. These synagogues were destroyed and Jewish shops were looted. Identification of all Jews who were forced to wear a Star of David on their clothing, on their heart, and their passports and identity cards were stamped with a J. All Jews, any Jewish person above the age of six, quite need to consider that. And vicious and unprovoked random orchestrated attacks on individual Jewish people. All this was deliberately designed to dehumanize the Jewish people in the eyes of the wider German population. And we can see that happening today in other countries. 
the Holocaust or Shoah is the term for the murder of about six or of over six million Jewish people by the Nazis and their collaborations during the Second World War. The word Holocaust is of Greek origin and it means sacrifice by fire, sadly at. Between 1941 and 1945, the Nazis sought to eliminate the entire Jewish community of Europe. Jews were murdered by death squads or transported to extermination camps, not prison camps, extermination camps. Six million of the 11 million Jews perished. The Holocaust mainly occurred in Eastern Europe in places such as Poland and Ukraine. Now, the term Holocaust can also refer to the orchestrated murder of Roma and other groups. These were also targeted by the Nazi regime. Disabled people, Soviet prisoners of war and civil, civil Soviet prisoners of war and civilians, Polish civilians, homosexuals, socialists, communists, trade unions. Freemasons and Jehovah's Witnesses, anybody the Nazis didn't like, they tried to exterminate. The Nazis did not act alone. Countries which were occupied by the Nazis during the Second World War, such as Lithuania and the Ukraine, sadly assisted the perpetrators. Holocaust Memorial Day 2020 marks the 75th anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz. I'm deliberately not going to show the horrific photographs of what happened in Auschwitz, in the gas chambers, the mass graves, and much, much worse. Quite bluntly, for the young ones, one would need a lot more time and proper support and possibly counselling to be available. Auschwitz is also called Auschwitz Birkenau. It's also called Auschwitz I and Auschwitz II. But Auschwitz is the name which everybody now knows. It was the Nazis' largest concentration and extermination camp. It was a factory of death where people from all around Europe were transported to be murdered. It was the most lethal, and God for me, forgive me, efficient extermination camp, and has become an emblematic site of the Holocaust. Well, why was it even located there? Germans were efficient. It was the heart of the hub of the railway network, so they could bring these terrible poor people from around Europe. In the years 1940 to 1945, the Nazis deported at least 1,300,000 people to Auschwitz. 1,100,000 of these people died. Lord Mayor, how many people live in Coventry? 365,000 people live in Coventry. Can you imagine every single person in Coventry times three or four being murdered? 90% of those victims were Jewish. The SAS, sorry, the SS murdered the majority of them in the infamous, infamous <coughs> gas chambers. Fine. There are very few individuals living today who survived the hell of Auschwitz or other concentration camps. Many of those survivors today are committed to ensure that future generations, these young people, these wonderful young people around us, understand what really happened. I was privileged to visit Auschwitz with a group last November, with one such survivor who's called Mindu. 
She's an incredibly brave lady, over 90. She was a young girl when she was deported to Auschwitz. 